Hello everyone and welcome back to another How to Stock Market series with uh, Jimmy K here from How to Stock Market. For this video we'll be covering um, the four stocks that I am trading this month. The first one up here we have is um, XLK. The company is called a Technology Select Sector SPDR Fund and the reason why I'm uh, buying these stocks is because it's the largest technology ETF uh, market by assets and based on uh, history it's showed that as a as a consistent growth ETF especially in the month of October and since it has been traditionally a been a very good performing stock this month I thought you know my why not just um, buy some stocks in this company and see how it plays out and whether or not if it'll, um, if the previous trends will uh, be consistent so this is that's basically the main reason of um, buying into this stock I, I bought it at around $58 so it's kind of up a dollar a share right now at the same time though the current price per share of the of this stock is at uh, 59 to 60 dollars which is quite expensive for you know small cap investors or traders to get into so I did not purchase too much too many of these uh, shares but uh, by kind of I'm kind of dabbling with it as a lot of the reports I'm reading is states that it's uh this company's up 21.4 percent year to date and it's the best performing sector in the SPDR and it provides uh, exposure into the tech industries so this is a market that I'm I would say I'm heavily invested into and you know if I'm heavily invested into any of the other tech stocks then why wouldn't I be also invested in the largest performing ETF sector in technology so I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to get into the space and um, see how well this stock performs in October of this month and once again if this uh, if the trend doesn't play out as how I'm predicting then I can always uh, sell out of it and um, transition my assets into a market that I see being more profitable in that uh, in that one month window so by no means is this like a guarantee for any of these stocks are these a uh, guarantee hold for a month strategies but a lot of it's based on uh, how I value each specific company and um, see how it overall plays out in the market so yeah I wouldn't say to hold it at no at uh, any cost because that could be a poor strategy and it's better to just uh, get out and cut losses quickly rather than to hold and hope for a bounce back in the market or any of that uh, sort of nature so that's the first uh, company that I am currently uh, invested in or trading right now Another uh, stock that I'm looking at is uh, AMD Advanced Micro Devices. It's currently consolidating at the 1270 range, as we can see here by these multiple uh, uh, <coughs> uh, multiple resistance and support levels within this uh, window from the 10 to around $15 range. So I'm kind of trading in those lines right now currently it's priced at uh, 1271 that was the closing price and the the aftermarket price dropped a little bit 
to 1266 so that's where it's at right now and this once again this is a stock that I'm fairly bullish on going from a long long term projection of this company I can see it breaking past 15 if they continue on to their current business model and uh, work hard and constantly release these new products that you know give a lot of hype to the sector and at the same time it is a chipset you know technology based uh, semiconductor company and therefore because of the market of technology right now I, that's why I'm fairly bullish on this stock and just the price per value of each stock is uh, at a price which I'm pretty interested in and I can see a lot of uh, long term uh, consistency and benefits and uh, overall uh, large increase within the market for this company um, with that being said however the past couple of months has been fairly slow for this stock it has been um, showing quite a bit of uh, swing swing trades and dip buys that appear to be like a pro profitable opportunity and for me it has been working fairly well from that perspective to uh, swing trade the stock and to not to hold and um, cut losses quickly gain profits quickly and then look into another market to constantly uh, be up to date on and uh, read their uh, earning reports and their conference calls and listening to their conference calls is what I do on the spare time while I'm trading in this stock so this is an, uh, another uh, company that I'm trading right now currently Another one is uh, a AAPL, also known as Apple. It's a very big tech company. I'm pretty sure most of you all know uh, this company or what it's about. But, you know, recently they're on a swing right now, as we can see here from this graph. So, from last summer, or not last summer but this July to this June it's been um, on a very consistent dip as we can see here it's not um, straight lining down towards the support level but it's kind of like, uh, swinging up cycling up and down until we heat, hit this uh, support level at around the low 90s and Recently, we've been seeing the stock um, rise up and up gradually. So, the uh, main reason why I'm buying into this stock right now is because of their uh, new iPhone 10 release, which um, which many people think that there's a lot of value in that product and there's has been a lot of good news about it um, from their previous launch of their iPhone 8 so which is a very good news and even with the uh, disaster of of what was uh, iPhone 8 So even with the iPhone 8 uh, discussions and how that influenced the stock of this company, um, it didn't do too much and I wouldn't say the dip was anything significant based on, uh, based on their business models and all that such. So right now I'm kind of looking at towards the dip 
maybe from the 150 the low 150s to yeah around the low 150s and potentially uh, holding it until the 160 range so maybe a $10 profit per share and thus I would also receive a 10% increase based on how much I invested in this company so that's something to um, look out for I would say and keep a close eye close watch on the stock because there has been there are a lot of uh, there has been a lot of uh, news with this company on various product launches and their partnerships with other you know tech companies which may uh, provide you know growth and revenue for this company moving forwards and as we can see here from a from a lifetime standpoint of the stock we can see that it's been gradually you know up increasing in value um, if this trend continues then we are likely to see maybe a correction you know fairly fairly large correction maybe of uh, maybe a how much would I say this seems like a recession actually more like a recessional crash possibly about you know 80% of the initial of the initial price that was trading at in 2012 and 2014 so I wouldn't say there is a much of a difference from between those two years so there may be a chance that the stock does take a dip, massive dip, to maybe to potentially the to its uh, initial support levels at around maybe possibly 140. So that could be a 10% term 10% change on either direction. So that's something to also take into consideration. Um, so those are the three stocks that I'm invested into. The last one, I would say... My last one, hold on one second. <clears throat> my last one would honestly have to be Alibaba. Since this company does uh, has been fairly profitable recently with its uh, new business updates and how well it has been doing in providing um, smaller businesses the opportunity to sell a different range of products. So, and I'm currently still on the Apple. Or wait, Shopify is also a good one, but I would say their um, the valuation's pretty high right now. Even with Alibaba, it's pretty high. But they're also a global e-commerce uh, retailer, so, and it's currently on a dip here, as we can see, dropped from the 165 to almost ten dollars down to 153. So it is currently on a dip. Will it be a massive dip like the previous support resistance levels as it's shown in here? And honestly, it could be, right? Because it's been within that uh, time frame of which, you know, these uh, spikes and col consolidations occur after uh, about a couple of years or so. So I would say that this right now would be a perfect uh, diff buying or swing trading opportunity um, unless if you enjoy um, are confident and have the patience for it to bounce all the way back up to the 
165 range. I would say this is a good uh, company to look into in terms of profitability, profitability and getting the most rewards on your investments. At the same time, this isn't a very complicated business model and it's still fairly new and it's current on the market and a lot of people have been venturing in towards these this type of opportunity it gives more opportunity to, to people to start their own businesses and this company has been very profitable recently especially with the attention that has received from uh, other various entrepreneurs who promote this type of uh, business models when to other uh, newer entrepreneurs so I would say this is a very interesting market to look into for me I this is more of a safe investment for me and I don't really see much uh, I don't see much uh, growth or uh, fluctuations going being invested into a company like this so once again those are my four stocks that I'm looking at and I hope this video helped you guys out on on my current investments and what I find to be valuable in the current stock market right now if you enjoyed please hit that like and subscribe and please share some comments on what what you guys are invested in and what you think is a good uh, company to keep on a watch list to stay up to date on their current news and such and with that being said i hope you all enjoyed and i would very much appreciate it if you guys could hit me with the like and subscribe on this video and leave some comments on types of videos you guys would like to see in the future and thanks once again for tuning in to the series on me trying to educate uh, newer investors and traders and how to be profitable in the stock market and thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next one thank you all and see you all next time